Here's a claim made by Dr. Jordan Peterson. The dietary recommendation to prioritize carbohydrates produced a veritable epidemic of obesity and diabetes. Now, Dr. Peterson is clearly an intelligent man, but I'm going to walk you through four pieces of evidence that speak to the inaccuracy of this claim. Number one, only a very small percentage of Americans and Australians for that matter, follow the dietary guidelines with any real success. How can we blame the dietary guidelines if very few people actually adhere to them? Number two, obesity has actually been increasing in the United States long before the 1980 dietary guidelines. In fact, obesity had been increasing for over 100 years prior to the introduction of these guidelines. Number three, the Japanese dietary guidelines, while not identical, are very similar to the United States dietary guidelines with clear recommendations to make grains and vegetables the foundations of one's diet. Yet Japan has one of the lowest rates of obesity in the world. Furthermore, when native Japanese move from Japan to America, they take on the chronic disease and obesity risk of Americans. So it's not as though they are genetically protected against these dietary guidelines. Number four, there is gold standard evidence, randomized controlled trials, showing that when people who are eating the standard Western diet shift towards a diet that's consistent with the dietary guidelines, they lose weight and their risk of chronic disease plummets. The biggest problem with the dietary guidelines is that thanks to the food environment, constant price promotions of unhealthy foods, marketing of ultra processed foods towards children, lack of education and loss of cooking skills, it's very difficult to adhere to them. 